case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a striking decision that shed new light on the intersection of corporate and personal rights, the United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit ruled against Dr. Stephen P. Amato, a chiropractor from Maine, in a lawsuit pertaining to federal health care crimes. At the heart of the case was the question of whether corporate representatives, even those as intimately connected as Dr. Amato, could shield themselves from subpoenas by invoking personal Fifth Amendment protections. Prior to the lawsuit, Amato had been served with two administrative subpoenas related to his custodian role within two dissolved corporations. Believing that the production of these records would result in self-incrimination, Amato moved to quash the subpoenas citing the Fifth Amendment. This involved the unique aspect of the case, that Amato himself was the corporation's sole shareholder, director, officer, and also the only employee. In the lower courts, Amato's motion had been denied. The court upheld its stance, ruling that the Fifth Amendment did not extend its protections to custodians of corporate records, irrespective of their personal investment in the corporation. Even the fact that the corporations in question were no longer in operation was not sufficient to trigger Fifth Amendment protections, they ruled. The crux of the appeal court's decision was its affirmation of the collective entity doctrine, which does not recognize the privilege of the Fifth Amendment for corporations. This made clear that the custodian of corporate records, regardless of the size of the corporation or their personal involvement, could be compelled to produce those records if properly demanded by the government. In summation, while the court acknowledged the evident personal ties between Amato and the dissolved corporations, it insisted on maintaining the clear legal distinction between corporate entities and individuals. The court's refusal to quash the subpoena on grounds of the Fifth Amendment sent a clear message about uniformity within the legal landscape and the prioritization of collective entity doctrine. It was a significant moment in law, asserting the still potent relevance of legislation from past cases on current and future suits. In doing so, the court reasserted the idea that corporations are, in the eyes of the law, separate entities from the individuals who make them. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class